for what you do. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you do. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for what you do.
such good news. Oh, it's such good news that you're here. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high, who looks far down on the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust, and he lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a home, making her the joyous mother of children. Praise the Lord.
so
just want to hear you. presence in this room. A minute ago, I heard the words saying that the good news is that he's here. I thought about that and I said, I don't know if there's any better news in the entire world that right now He's here. Like, what else would you rather eclipse that news? He's here. Wow. Man, let that sink in. He's here. He is here. We have entered his courts. We have entered his gates with thanksgiving and praise, and he is here. And he loves the sound. He loves the praises of his people. Oh, he loves to hear, thank you. And he's the only one worthy of our worship because he's holy. I was thinking about when we were singing, we won't hold it in. I think for too long, we've held it in. For too long, we've made it about a building, four walls. It's time to take Jesus out of the building. It's time to go. It's time to go. I want to cover an area of prayer. We normally don't do this, but tomorrow night, we will open... Nation's House of Prayer, Core Love's headquarters, we will open our doors to the city. It'll just be, I think it's our second time to do that, you know, to the public. We're going to open our doors and we are going to ascribe the Holy King, the glory and the honor and the praise that is due to only him and him alone. And we're inviting the city. We're so excited. We have our friends from Upper Room, the USM second year students are coming down to help lead the way. And we're just so excited. And what I wanna do as we enter into a time of intercession, I want to specifically circle and target Houston. I wanna even target tomorrow night. As, as you guys know this, we don't like broadcast this like overboard or try to market this. We just go, God, send the hungry. Send the hungry, send the desperate. Send those that are desperate for your presence. And I just have a feeling that tomorrow night is gonna spark something unique. And we'll be saying for a long time, we can't hold it in. <laughs> we can't hold it in. If you're not familiar with the story of our new building, our new nation's house of prayer, it's on 3353 Elgin Street. It's in walking distance from U of H campus, which we've been circling and praying for for quite some time. We're so excited about some initiatives that we'll be launching soon there. But the centerpiece and the main reason of why we are there is to build him a house, a house of prayer for the nations. You might not be aware of this, but Houston is the most diverse city of all the nations, of all the cities of the nation, the most diverse city. What that means is Houston's doors have just been opened to the, diff to the different nations of the world, they're coming. Like, like, don't let that just bounce off of you or go in one ear and out the other. The nations are coming.
the nations are coming to Houston. Last time I checked as a Christian, our job description is to go into all the nations and make disciples. <laughs> In case you, you've been wondering about your purpose, <laughs> it's our purpose. And that vision statement wasn't created around a creative meeting room. It was given by Jesus, the King himself, go into all the nations. And guess what? There's a time, I think, in history that's upon us. The nations are coming to us. What are we going to do about it? We're not going to hold it in. I promise you that. So tomorrow night, we are going to lift up the King of Kings right in the most diverse city, right in the inner city of Houston. We're going to lift the King. We're going to build him a throne with our praises to come and dwell and rule in our city. I think he wants his city back. Amen. Would you stand to your feet just in the next few minutes? We're going to engage into some intercession and just want the musicians and worship leaders to, to join me in that. Just however we feel led. Let's just find that flow of intercession. We know this about Jesus. What he's doing right now is interceding. And I know he's interceding for us and for, for Houston. So we just want to tap into that. We've thanked him. We've praised him. We've worshiped him. And now we're going to intercede with him. So Jesus, right now, would you just lead us in this time of intercession? We just want to follow you. Show us what's on your heart, God. Show us what's on your mind, Lord. Oh, Jesus, right now, would you just allow us to align with your heart in intercession for the city of Houston? Just begin to ask the Lord, just say, God, give me a heart. Give me a vision for Houston. Give me a burden for Houston this Friday night tomorrow night as we open our doors. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we intercede right now. You know what that means? To intercede means to stand in between God and whatever needs to meet God. Whoever needs to meet God, you stand in the middle, you become a gap. You stand in the gap, you become a bridge and you bring the two together. Jesus, we stand in the middle of you and, Houston, you and Houston and we just say, come together. Come encounter your bride, the bride of Houston. Oh, I have an image right now of our prayers in this room are like casting seeds. We're casting seeds right now. We're casting seeds. Yeah, just begin to pray for Houston tomorrow night. Specifically pray for the young people. Send the young, send the hungry, send the young adults, send the college students, send the young. Come on, just begin to lift them up. They're searching right now. Oh, they're searching. They're hungry for something real. Yes, come on, seeds of prayer. The image I'm getting is these seeds of prayer as they hit the ground and go into the ground. They're joined with thousands of other seeds over the years, over the years. You know, the Bible says we'll reap or we have not sown. There's been decades and decades and of, of prayers for revival in Houston. And we're adding to those prayers right now. Come on, pray for Houston. Send the young, send the, the young Lord. Send the laborers.
I feel like this is a word for nations and core love. Luke 7. Soon afterward, he went to a town called Houston. And his disciples, that's those who are called to the nations, and a great crowd went with him. As he drew near the gate of the town, behold, the man who had died was being carried out. The only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a considerable crowd from the town was with her. I feel like the Lord is saying that he has drawn near to the gates of Houston. And what was once an incubator of death, what was once an incubator for the widow, for the fatherless, for the dead generations, has now become rivers of living water. What was once a gate of death has now become a floodgate, rivers, streams of living water. And I feel like the Lord is saying that he is coming and looking at his people in downtown Houston with compassion, telling the fatherless, telling the widows, telling the orphans and the generations, do not weep. And he is touching them. And he is saying, young man, I say to you, arise. And that what was once deemed as death is now life. And here is nation's house of prayer that as fear sees them all, they all begin to glorify God. They all begin to glorify God. A great prophet has arisen among us. And this is what I feel the Lord is doing. God has visited his people. And this report about him spread through the whole Warden 1, Warden 2, Warden 3 in all the surrounding country. It's a word from the Lord.
Bring. 